Okay, you guys, take three on today's uh, video here. I have a small haul from Hobby Lobby as well as a de-stash that I purchased from Crafty Bean here on YouTube. Um, I swear if the post uh, lady drives by my house or pulls in my driveway or stops at my mailbox one more time today to drive my dogs nuts, I'm probably just going to go out on the porch to throw something at her. Because she's been here like five times today. No joke. And she's not even leaving anything. That's what aggravates me. So anyway. Okay, we're going to get started. Again, this is take three. So I'm out of breath. Because I was trying to get the dogs to be quiet. And I had to lock them out of my room. No one else is home yet. So they are unattended in the living room. So this is the... Paper Studio 50% off week, the blowout sale. I use my 40% coupon to get more adhesive because I'm always out. You guys know that. I got more of the card storage bags. I use these to package my embellishments as well as Memory Dex cards when I send those out. So those were um, just restocks as well as white doilies. I'd run out of those, so that was a restock item. Now, a few clearance items. I got the ice cream tags just to add to my stash. 74 cents. I got a Grateful sticker. I don't think I have this one. I've been trying to get all of these, but I don't think I have Grateful. So that was 65 cents. I got the Shaker um, coffee tags. 59 cents. This washi kind of masculine and I didn't have it so I got that for 74 cents and it's just the navy plaid and the polka dots and I got this burlap trim for 74 cents as well so I'm finally beginning my um, unicorn swap here on YouTube with Victoria so I got the um, gemstones as well as that little gemstone decal and then I just got a wooden unicorn so there's that I got two sheets of this unicorn paper not new but new to my collection and then I got the aqua colored glitter paper so also I got um, when I, when I see these on uh, the blowout sale, I like to get one. 99 cents. Can't beat it. I'm finding I really like storing things in them. So for now, I'm going to collect up all the unicorn stuff and um, just keep it in here as I work on the project. So moving on to the D-stash that I bought. So Crafty Bean. She has a channel here on YouTube. She sent it over in this flat rate uh, envelope. I did go ahead and open it. Like I said, I tried to do this video a bit earlier. I had everything out. I've not looked at anything. And then my dog started going nuts. So on her channel, um, literally the other night before I went to bed, you know, it's getting the time where people are doing de-stashes as it gets closer to Halloween and she does a lot of de-stashes on her page. I'm always late to them though. So I've not gotten lucky yet. And um, before I went to bed, I checked her page to see if she had anything posted. She did not Literally when I woke up, she had posted at some time during the night uh, a Halloween de-stash and a stamp de-stash. So I missed them again and I was devastated. Because the cool thing about buying these stashes to me, being a new crafter, is chances are they have stuff that they're getting rid of that um, I didn't have a chance to purchase because it came out before I started crafting again. So that part for me is cool. Like these may be older items, discontinued items, whatever. But because I'm new to this, it's going to be new to my collection. So that's super fun for me. Um, so I basically commented on another of her videos. I, wa I watch her channel every day. So I was like, man, I missed a D-stash. I'm so heartbroken. And she actually took the time 
to reach out to me. We emailed back and forth and she ended up offering me another D stash and she custom, you know, put it together for me. So that was super, super, super kind, number one, to um, reach out to me and then to take time out of your busy schedule to put something together for me. So I really, really, really appreciate that, Tina. Thank you so much. And we'll go ahead and get started. She did include a note um, and she said that she's added a few of her Halloween cards, which is super awesome. She said, I think you can send them out if you want. And uh, chances are I won't, I won't, because I tend to hoard, especially Halloween stuff. So um, I may very well not send them out, to be honest, because I will love them. Oh my God, you guys, look at the baby Michael Myers. Holy crap. I'm going to keep him forever. I love him. Oh my God, wherever. I bet you this is like Cricut or Silhouette. If it is not and you have a die for this, please, please, please let me know. Oh my God. I love, oh, oh my God. I love, love, love Michael Myers and my favorite director. Um, redid these movies and that's Rob Zombie and she has a baby Jack Skellington oh my god it's so cute how sweet are those and then here is a cool shaker I want to get better at doing shakers too and this is a tag and I don't have any dies like this either that make the little uh, dotted edge so that's really, really cute. And she sent me some stickers. And these, I know, are from Tuesday morning. Because I got the spider webs this weekend, but they had no other um, shapes at my store. So I'm super happy for these. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She sent me the felt bats. Wow, those are cool. And the glitter pumpkins. Awesome, Tina. Thank you. I'll definitely be able to use these. And let's see if I can get this stuff back in without spilling them everywhere. My craft room is a disaster. I've been crafting like a mad person in here. So I'm going to put these back in. I'm sorry for the crinkly noises. But I am going to keep Michael out here with me because I love him so much. Oh my god, that is so cute. That made the whole package right there. And she sent me a witch hat paper clip, which I will use in my planner because I've never been able to find these little witch hat stickers at the Dollar Tree. So that is super fun. And then we have, oh, adhesive borders. How cool. I don't have anything like this. So there's all kinds of borders in here, you guys. So there's some skulls, some tombstones, some creepy bats, some spiders. Let's see, that has spooky words, love it. Ooh, some really pretty ravens. And looks like some beetles, more insects and creepy things, and some really cool spider webs. That's awesome, I don't have anything like this. And these are Kay and Company. And I know I've seen their stuff at Michael's, but I've yet to I don't think I have anything by them, so that is super cool. Thank you. Love that. And we have some adhesive stickers. I do have the large, 
the really large border stickers that match this, I think, that I got from a consignment shop. So that's really cool that I have some matching stuff to go with that. These are really cool Jolie stickers. Black cats, skulls, tombstones, and the spooky trees. I love spooky trees. Who am I kidding? I love everything about Halloween. I always have. These are really cool Jolie's stickers and they're like potion bottles. That's super cool. More Jolie's. I don't have a lot of Jolie's, if any. So this is the witch's spell with the cauldron and the little broom. That's super cute. So this is another witch themed one. It's a little bit different. Love, love, love that. This one is cool. This is a pirate with a tombstone and a black cat. That's super awesome. Then we have this one is cool with ghosts. See, I don't have any of this stuff. This is awesome. These are really heavy. These are like resin um, or acrylic jack-o'-lanterns. Those are really cute. Oh, and she sent me the spider webs from Tuesday morning. Love those. It's about the only thing I have, but I like using them, so. These are cool. These are Paper Bliss Little Witches and a Witch's Cauldron. That's super cute, and they're dimensional. So she sent two of those. And then here's another Kane Company. This is like a spell book. No, it's a recipe book for bat droppings and ghostly gingerbread. That is freaking awesome. Love that. The bad part is, with a stash, I don't know that I'll actually use any of this stuff because I'll just want to hoard all its beautifulness. Here's another Kane Company, and these are very dimensional witches. And they're really cute. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. More Kane Company, and these are like um, puffy stickers, or it's called pillow stickers. They're not squishy at all. They're dimensional ghosts. Love that. Yep. This is awesome. So I managed to get this in a, like I said, a um, consignment shop and I love, love, love these. They're like perfect for memory decks cards. So I'm super happy to have more. So now I can hoard some and actually use some. Then we have this pack by Reminis. The Moonshine Crew. That's funny. So these are really cute dimensional stickers. And then this by Memento. I thought it looked familiar. So these are really cool like dimensional words, spooky words. Can't wait to use those. Ooh, and um I couldn't find these last year. So happy to have these enamel dots in the um, Halloween colors. Thank you. And then these um, little baby dimensional stickers. Really, really cute. Some little bee bees. Those are really cute. Didn't see those at Tuesday morning. And then uh, more dimensional jack-o'-lantern by Recollection. And then here are her beautiful cards. Oh my gosh. This is serious, serious goals. Like, this is so cute and I want to make cards like this. So I'll take them out so we don't have a glare. I don't know if I can send these out, Tina. They're too pretty. That is cool how she embellished and put a liner in the envelope. 
see I wouldn't think to do anything professional looking like that really 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 cute so that's the front of this one I'm gonna have to study if if I give these away I'm gonna have to study them study them first I can see she used some Wink of Stella she used some glossy accents and I think this is um, alcohol ink but I'm not sure and of course she colored up the little witch Ugh, so cute so there's the first one and then here is another one and it's a, a bit similar I love this edge die. I want that so bad. Or the um, edge punch. So on this one she has some twine here at the bottom. She colored it up a bit differently. Man, I love these cards. I don't know that I can part with them. <laughs> so there's that. And then last but not least, here is a little mummy card. Super cute with some eyelash trim, a little mummy stamped image. And that's what the inside looks like. So cute. Oh man, I don't know that I can part with these. I will probably hoard them. So that was super awesome of you to send some of your handmade cards that I admire so much. And now I have some Crafty Bean originals that I can study and um, hopefully improve on my own uh, creations. So thank you again, Tina. That was so awesome of you. I appreciate you putting together this stash of amazing Halloween goodies and I am excited to get started with it all and um, get everything organized. I'm still working on that. I'm kind of all over the place because I have the Halloween collab going on and it's just crazy in my room trying to get everything done and packaged for that uh, swap that'll be coming up after this weekend's video. So you guys stay tuned for all of that and I will see you in the next video. Much love.